All right, I'm just gonna warn y'all. I've had a lot of caffeine and I am extremely a chat hey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is one thing why I don't like this microphone because I don't know when it's on. I am super giggly, super chatty, super energetic, and I am caffeine. First and foremost, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you like the rest. I want to thank for all of the love, the, the love, the comments, everything in regards to me opening up about my xjw religious upbringing so what i'm going to talk about is like what what you can expect so life update let's just start there being here on youtube you're always trying to find your niche you do a bunch of different things you see what people like and i saw that people really like my xjw speak out activism whatever you want to call it basically story time you know thank you for watching my story time and thank you for all my new subscribers. I am proud to announce I'm transitioning from a PC to a Mac. I've always wanted to learn how to use a Mac. I have an iPhone now, so I've become sort of an Apple whore, like everybody likes to call you, an Apple whore. That's what I am right now. So that's why there's been a delay in my videos because I'm like, if I don't immerse myself, I'm just gonna use some Fenty right now. She wasn't lying when she said this was hydrating. I like to concentrate some of this foundation under the darker areas of my face because that's where I need the most. I think I'm kind of getting comfortable talking about. It seems like there's an interest here and when I see an interest, I'm going to give you guys what you want. But I'm going to try to just incorporate XJW content along with makeup content and lifestyle content. I think those are the three things goal like orientatedly want goal orientatedly is that even a word to do on this channel. I usually apply my foundation with a brush but for some reason today I was just like girl use the beauty blender. I really love the finish of this foundation. It is just so skin like and just beautiful. So I want to talk about the reason xjw community speaks out like we said that's a big part of our life and i actually want to thank the watchtower it's not to bash the organization it's just simply to show a, just a difference in beliefs and that's where education comes in at you need to educate yourself never ever defy education when somebody's trying to hide information from you or keep you from knowing some type of truth to something or some type of facts or something and they're withholding it from you or they're hiding it from you from you you have cause to doubt. You simply do. This is what the slave masters used to do to us back in the day. They stopped us from reading and educating ourselves. When somebody tries to stop you from reading and educating yourself, beware. When somebody's trying to do the thinking for you and somebody's trying to prevent you from enhancing your knowledge and educating yourself, you always have a reason to be weary and suspicious and doubtful. That doubt sets in pretty soon by the way i just want to congratulate any extra host witnesses who are waking up if you're in the process of waking up congratulations to beginning to wake up i think i'm running low on my flower power this is the flower power in cassava it's so good did i say good or did i say good <laughs> anyway back to what we're saying is this true why are we doing this we really Gonna get everlasting life? Is this really true? Mommy and daddy really know what they're doing? Shit. You know, that's natural when you have doubt. Sometimes I set my face with this powder because I just love the finish of it. I just, I love it so much. It's so finely milled and just so light and just so amazing. Doubt raises cause for research. Ain't nothing better, nothing more profound or eye-opening than you doing your own and research. We all do it. We all had to do it. So if you really want to find some stuff out, make sure you're doing your own research. And I know there's a lot of XJW activists that do research for you on here, and that's really nice. And waking up out of that organization is literally a self you have to decide that like what's being told to you is just not true maybe what if it wasn't the extreme amount of control that they have on your life you would just suffocating type of restrictions where you just simply cannot breathe for me for the longest time it was just the doubt that i had in my mind feeling i was like not good enough for that faith that was the power that they held on me that was the brainwash 
You ever try to move on to your brows and then you tell yourself in your head that, oh no, I don't think I'm ready to, I don't think I'm ready to do my brow shit. <laughs> so my goal up on here on YouTube currently is push out more videos. You may see some more XJW content and that is pretty simple. I know that people take offense to it that are still in and I think that's okay if you still believe. Or you, you know, what's making me and really, really just laugh about what's happening is that you have people who are claiming to be ex Jehovah's Witnesses that are sticking up for them. What? Are you really an ex Jehovah's Witness? Or are you an ex Jehovah's Witness or a little part of you still believe? I find it boggling, mind boggling, that someone's an ex Jehovah's Witness would stick their neck out and take up for an organization who doesn't give a crap. You're an active. Or you or you're halfway in, halfway out, backsliding, whatever you fading and still believe. You need to make a decision. You in or you out. Believe or you don't believe. There is no half stepping. Black or white. That's how they move. So if you out here not going to meetings, not going out for service, not going to Kingdom Hall, you ain't you ain't active. You are just in that what you they hoping you come back? That's silly. And I know that a lot of people just are too scared to leave. That's the big bulk of why there's just so many people still in there, including my family. They're still in there because they want to believe. Want to believe is real because they wasted so much time for them not to believe. Well, that just would be tra a travesty for them because they're going to say, well, what am I going to do with my life now? I don't know. You're going to live the life that you was probably supposed to live. Whatever's left of it. You've been a part of just a lie. Your whole life, like you didn't even know it. And that's deep. I heard and I hope that people just get some insight. Or even if it's entertaining. Some entertainment. <laughs> There's some extra host witnesses that entertain. Um, they're very funny and they're very talented. They are just going to basically incorporate that into their platforms. And I think that is just fantastic. Take something negative and turn it into a positive. So I'm trying to connect some of these topics. Who's trending right now, y'all? <laughs> Derek Jackson. I actually have a sibling with the same name as Derek, but it's not important. <laughs> Mr. Jackson. Okay. Um, Mr. Jackson's cunning type of persona. It's kind of seems to me that he could be narcissistic, maybe like a younger governing body. Like he's very charismatic. And he has a voice. He pretty much speaks from a woman's perspective of how a relationship should function from a woman's point of view that's kind of what he just pretty much constantly exudes so when he's speaking to that camera he's speaking to women and this is the very reason why black men don't like him all men don't like him if men can see through him i don't see why women can see through him but he's like a governing body member and a younger body it's like a catch me if you can kind of character so what he's preaching is just everything that your womanly ears want to hear all the great things that a man and a woman is supposed to be doing in a relationship but mostly he speaks about what a man is supposed to be doing so he's kind of against men and for women manipulation is something i'm just not too fond of Watchtower comes to my mind and then when you see someone like Derek Jackson You're just able to see right through his manipulation and his BS because you've already been there like dude I've already been manipulated before I've already been controlled before and his poor wife who kind of looks like me right now But uh when I see somebody like his wife I just feel sorry for whoever felt for his nonsense Jesus or I got saved you, What who saved where who well who I said what Jesus who poor please and you can't see through him. You certainly ain't gonna see through no damn governing body. There are thousands of Jared Jacksons walking this planet we call Earth, okay? Thousands of con artists. He just happened to be a chocolate one. Con artist is a con artist. They really ain't got no color. He's like selling himself as the perfect husband. When we all know, no one's perfect. Not even you, Derek Jackson. She just, she don't see it. She will see it eventually. And when she does, we gonna hear about it. Cause girl, you gotta wake up. Wake the f up, girl. Dude is a con artist to the 20th degree. He just a con artist that happened to be caught. And guess what? Oh, well, that's what happens when you don't out your own self. I'm Mr. Perfect. And that dude you with is terrible. Do what you doing, uh-uh. You ain't better than no brown man. And I don't even see what the skin color has anything to do. It ain't even got nothing to do with him being brown. A good man's a good man. And his skin color ain't got nothing to do with that. A man is a man, a person is a person, and a human is a human. But, but don't be sitting up here putting all your hopes and dreams and insecurities and faith. You don't know that man. You do not know that man. I'm over it. Let's move on. 
So this is the newest mascara that I've definitely been into is the Joa Lash Up Rising. I have had my eye on this mascara for months. I hope it's still good, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I had my eye on it for months. I just loved what it was promising to do. I got into it the last time I did my makeup. Loved it! So, I had a coupon to CVS and here we go, girl. Let's put some mascara. Who is screaming outside my window? Oh. Y'all, this mascara is so bomb. I don't know if I'm gonna need falsies. It's like the way you put it on and it formalizes on your eyelashes, it literally just stays there when you push the brush up. Ah, I mean, sometimes with other mascaras, I literally have to like really work it, but I'm not really doing anything. It's kind of effortless and the separation is freaking on 10 it's just not clumping and like i'm literally just freely doing this i'm very impressed with this mascara here i am just smudging some of my fenty bronzer i've been doing this for i don't know how long y'all it's just a quick way to add some dimension and life this is my favorite blush i think i was putting it on but i i like a lot of blush and that's just me. I just love blush, y'all. I can't get enough of it. So let's let's move on to a, to a lip. All right, usually I let my outfit that I'm gonna be wearing for today dictate kind of what lip I'm gonna go for. I, I don't know about that right now. <laughs> I bought this vintage pencil and I'm not that keen on it. It's some more on a red side. I'm not trying to do red today, so we're just gonna skip that. I need another club hopper. Yo, that pencil club hopper is pretty nice by NYX. I also have Espresso that will go perfect. This lip color, um, which is Send Me Nude. I don't know, I think we can blend the two. On the outer rim of my lip, I'm going to put the darker shade, which is the baby blip. These are so, they're really nice. The formula is super comfortable. They're kind of like a hybrid of a lipstick and a gloss. Okay, my daughter just came home and I gotta hurry up. <laughs> anyway, I gotta, I'm gonna put the baby, the sin nudes in the middle. Okay, cause we want to be kind of nudie. Add some dimension. And I don't think it's that, Ooh, I like this. I just like to touch up a little bit. I take my Sephora 50 brush and I just kind of hit where I like a little bit of depth. I like it extra depth. I like it a lot. I am done, son. Done! Too much caffeine, y'all. Way too much. Oh, we all look out for some, some more videos, y'all. Because I'm here and I'm back and I'm learning how to Mac. I'm learning how to use a mat. See, I just messed it all up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.